<laughs> Have you ever dropped your phone in the toilet? Oh, yeah. All right, when did you do it? Well, I was hammered. Okay, but, like, why were you in the bathroom? Because I had to pee. Okay. So, when you dropped the phone in the toilet, was it during the pee or after or before? During. <laughs> I was looking at my phone while I was pissing drunk in the toilet. <laughs> And just bloop. <laughs> and I immediately reached my hand in, even though I was still pissing. <laughs> well, like you like mid street, like your yep. arm, your arm crossed the street. Yeah, like a like a Indian catching a fish by his hand by hand in a river. <laughs> like I just grabbed it by the neck, my well, phone. Like a grizzly bear catching a salmon. Exactly. It's just yeah. like it's all. It was just, yeah. It was well, instinctual. No, I'm trying to make the point. I was trying to make is like. I remember being like babysat as a kid and I was like playing with like race cars like on the rim of the toilet bowl but like while I was shitting <laughs> and like I, like I dropped a race car into the toilet and it landed like right on top of like a, a big piece of shit like the bottom oh hole God. like the bottom hole of the toilet and I told the babysitter like, what kind of big shits were you taking as a as a fucking Hot Wheels player well like in my memory <laughs> <laughs> in my memory I'm thinking it was about the size of a beer can but also like when I was at Plus little, the uh, rim of the toilet bowl? Were you not using the seat? <laughs> well, I should have used the seat. But, like, hear me out. Like, as a kid, like, a, like a beer can-sized shit wasn't as big as a beer can, you know, because, like, you're... You know, everything is even bigger back yeah. then. So, let's just say, maybe it was the size of, like, a half of a Red Bull. Let's say, like, a big, a big shit for a little guy. But there was, like, a Hot Wheels car, like, right on top of it. Like, just bottom of the fucking... As deep as it could go into the toilet. Like, the deepest point of the shit fucking I understand, bowl. yeah. Yeah, just, I just want to really drive that home. The deepest part of the toilet. So, you're not, like, just pinching it. Like you're, it was you're, in there. You're getting your whole hand fucking submerged in shit water. Maybe even beyond the point of, like, l- where light can reach. But, like, like... It's dark. Yeah, it is a bit dark. Like, don't, the color changed a bit, right? But, like... <laughs> I like even as a little kid, as animalistic as little kids are, like, I knew like you don't touch poop, right? Yeah. So it's like once it was in the toilet, it was like that's something I need. I eat the race car, but that's poop, and I can't I can't touch that. <laughs> I can't touch that water that's touched poop. It's discipline. So it was kind of like a like a learning moment. Like, I don't know what to do here. <laughs> even though it's like I could I easily have the tools to solve this problem. I asked the uh, babysitter to. Like, help me out with that. Oh Great, I'm like three or four years old. And, uh, I don't know if I ever got that car again. But I, I, I want to say she got it for me again and it was, like, all clean, but, like, so I, I guess that just means that, like, this old, this babysitter reached in a toilet bowl full of shit and got the race car out of it and then spent the time to, or maybe she didn't, but, like, to wash the car. My God, your parents must have been paying her pretty good. I don't know. I think you're paying her fucking like poor. What do poor people pay for babysitters? <laughs> but but um, probably not too much. <laughs> not too much. But like, I don't, know, I, was, I don't really know where I was going with that point. But I guess yeah. My my yeah, back to my original point here. Um, have you ever dropped your phone in a toilet bowl full of shit? No, uh, no shit, no. No. So what if you did? Well, it'd be very, it'd be hard to do because I don't, I don't shit standing up. Well, like, what if you shit and then you're right about, the, you stood up and you're about to flush? You don't flush sitting down, do you? Mm-hmm. Let's say, because you get all wet every time you do that. Yeah, it would hit your butt cheeks. You gotta yeah. stand up and look at it. Too, like, you like, gotta see your, your, your creation. Like, your what's masterpiece going on? of art. Your masterpiece of art. And you're always hoping that you can see the shit over the toilet paper. Oh, yeah. You want to make an island if you can't. <laughs> you know, recently I yeah changed the way that I wipe my ass. Well, like front to back or back to front? Do you like it now? So let's <laughs> just let, hear me out. You got a bidet? Like what? Well, for the longest time, I didn't know that people didn't sit down and lean forward to wipe their ass. What do you mean lean forward? Like you're sitting down. So and yeah. You lean forward and you wipe your ass. Oh, from behind? Yeah. Yeah, that's fucking weird. No, it's not. What do you mean, no, it's not? It's not weird. Okay, yeah, that's pretty weird to me. So I didn't know that people didn't do that. Probably until I was like 17. Well, wait, how did you used to wipe your ass? Sitting down and wiping my ass from behind. But how do you do it now? Just listen. 
Okay. Then when I was like 17 or 18, I learned that people will stand up to wipe their ass. What? Wouldn't that just that cake get everywhere between your cheeks? I would think so. I've never done it. I've literally never stood up to wipe my ass. So I don't know. I'll say this. I've given supplemental wet wipes when I've stood up because I felt like a wet spot touched the other side of my cheek. Oof. And I realized uh, there was a little poop dot That's that bad. wasn't on my asshole, but it was on my far left butt cheek and then it just touched my right cheek. Oh, and yeah. So like that, in that experience, you know, it kind of makes sense. Sure, A little sense. poop dot, you know. Problem solved with a quick stand up and a little wipe. But yes. anyways, as you were saying, what I've transitioned to within like the last year of my life mm-hmm. is the pull the sack to one side and wipe right between the legs. That's all I've ever done. It's it's the best way. Uh, as someone with extra dangly balls, it's almost easier. Because you can move dangly balls more to the side than like non-dangly balls. But I notice you can only do it in, in certain scenarios. At least for me. I explain. Like at home where I put my shorts all the way down to my ankles. Yeah. And I can like yeah. spread my legs yeah, and get yeah, in there. Okay. Yeah, sure. Well, but like when I'm at work. Yeah. And like I have pants on and I can only like you really bring it to like here. Yeah, yeah. You can't get between your legs to wipe your ass. You, 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 you have to like lean forward into the side and wipe. Yeah, I don't do that. I always nice to make it work. Uh, you get in there. Yeah, I, I get really in there. <laughs> I might step a finger. Do you shit you know. in public? <laughs> I don't like shitting in public, but I sometimes do. You know what I mean? It's never fun, but it always feels good. It's kind of weird. I always feel. Is there any better feeling than taking a shit when you need to take a shit? No. It's 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 like fucking taking a hit out of something. Like there's no more. It's orgasmic, really. There's no more relieving feeling. Yeah. Than like having diarrhea somewhere that you shouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> well, like in a doghouse or a carriage? Like, what are we talking? Think about somewhere that you are like, oh no, I have diarrhea and I don't know how I'm going to get to the. Ne- how I don't know where or how I'm going to get to the. A hot bathroom. air balloon. <laughs> <laughs> There's no bathroom here. <laughs> I am. There's not even another uh, room. It's just one little room. I... <laughs> That's a good question. I want to Google that now. How do you shit on a hot air balloon? You know how diarrhea used to kill people? Mm-hmm. If I had hot, if I had diarrhea in a hot air balloon, <laughs> I would fucking kill myself. I would just jump over the side. <laughs> but do you think when you hit the ground when you, when you have a belly full of diarrhea, you just fucking shit explode? It was like, oh, fuck. He died as he lived, covered in shit. <laughs> yeah, it is a good question, though. Would, like, the smell of, like, the gas, like, burn off the stink of the poo? Of, like, someone hanging over a basket? Is there a little trap door you can maybe do? What is a hot air balloon burning? Helium? I don't know. Hydrogen? Hydrogen? I don't fucking know. It's just hot air. It doesn't really matter, does it? But what kind of gas do you fart? Like methane. I don't think it's really methane. I think we'll just say methane. I don't know. Methane, I don't, I don't really know. <laughs> um, I mean, people can like their farts, apparently. How big? Uh, we're we're dodging past the important question. How big is a a, a balloon basket? No, I'm serious. Not big enough to have a bathroom. <laughs> not, not big enough for diarrhea, but like, <laughs> like, how many, like, how many, like, like, is it like a four by four, like, foot square, like, basket, or is it like, that's a good question. You see three by movies, three? You see in movies, it maybe looks. Is it like the size of a small room? Is it like six by six? I'm going to say it is five by five. <laughs> I'm going to say five by five basket. You can't lay down in it. I have 25 square feet. Which sounds pretty big. No, it doesn't. It sounds tiny. What are you talking about? 25 square feet? That sounds like a lot. I don't know. I'm thinking of like, tw- like the square tiles that are one by one. That seems like a lot. 
Maybe not, actually. 25 of those? That's five and five. Let me think for a second here. Think about how tall you are. You can't lay down any way in that. Yeah, room. that's true. I'm a big six foot seven dude. Um, exact same dude. Yeah. Um, <laughs> huge, dude. <laughs> I'm giant. I am huge. I have now become huge. Um, the destroyer of poos. Worlds. <laughs> the destroyer of poos and worlds. <laughs> um, where do they put the fuel on their um, airplane? No, the balloon. Is it in the basket with you? Like it's like a big cylindrical fucking propane tank looking thing, but like the really tall kind, like for welding. That's like, a good question too. Yes, I'm gonna do more research on balloons. I, I almost need to like Google image balloons, but like not like just for the uh, art of seeing a balloon, but like the mechanisms of a balloon. Don't they have like sandbags tied to the rails? Yeah, that's how they let off weight to float yeah. up. Yeah. But what do you do when you need to go down? You just you, cut, you just like cut the heat. You just collect the sand that you drop, so that doesn't make sense. It's retarded. Throw that back up here. There, I need that sand. Oh, wait. No, <laughs> bring it back. I wasn't done. Okay. Also, can you throw up some Imodium? <laughs> can you throw up some toilet paper? I'm about out. Sorry for that rainfall, Leah. I know the weatherman didn't call for any precipitation, but I ate Taco Bell last Holy night. Holy shit, you just said it. I well, we didn't think about that. What? You just poop over the side. <laughs> <laughs> or is there like an Amish fucking bathroom? Is there like an Amish hole in the, in the corner? I, I like to think that's you too... You just shit through the bottom of the... There's, of the... And that's too dangerous. There's like a, a four inch hole in the fucking right hand corner of it. That you just squat Just over. big enough for an asshole to... It's like an Asian toilet, you know, where they have like their squatty place, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, where it's just like a porcelain hole in the yeah, ground. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. The, it's just one of those, but like in the fat, in the twine of the basket, and it just goes down wherever it goes. It's in God's hands at that point. <laughs> <laughs> a log bar. It's in God's hands. <laughs> As a God-fearing man, I'm sure I'll take care of it. Man. <laughs> Diarrhea from a hot air balloon. <laughs> I imagine it would spurt. That's, just that's where we got to. And then you got <laughs> then you got to use like your like you have to wear shoes on a like a hot air balloon. I'm just assuming. Then you just use you your, probably wear shoes. Too. Your shoe to like kind of scrape the extra mud that you just created down the hole. Like ew, yeah. You gotta like click your shoes together. Like, 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 hey, look, look, hey, look at me, look at me. You gotta go like ew, yeah. Like you know, the hole. You get the mud out of your fucking shoe. <laughs> That's a lot of poo. If the hot air balloon operator is like... <laughs> the hot sorry. air balloon three feet away from you shaking his head with his aviator glasses on. Like, and it's only like three feet off the ground. <laughs> it's only five minutes into the flight and you're supposed to go around the you're world. You're like, dude, you could have literally just jumped off and you wouldn't have hurt yourself. Dude, we just took off. <laughs> Uh, Shitting in the hot air balloon while it's still on the ground. <laughs> I didn't know where to go, so I went in the corner. <laughs> oh yeah, that's so stupid. And he just like brings on like some goats or something to eat the shit away or <laughs> clean it up. Dude, what are we gonna do with all this weight now? Someone's gotta pick it up. Who's gonna pick it up? <laughs> like somehow the weight didn't like count when it was in your body, but when you shit it out, it's like extra weight now that you have to compensate for. <laughs> It's an extra passenger. So they, they go put it in one of those bags of sand. Anyway. That's really stupid. I don't know why I laughed at that the way I did. I, thought, I liked it. I'm embarrassed, but I liked it. I liked it. Like most of my fetishes, I'm embarrassed, but I liked it. 